and hello. So welcome back to one of my uh, one of my reviews on Splatoon 2. So this is my first Splatoon game. So getting into it, I was quite impressed, especially with starting out. You know your character selection here. Simple. It's neat. It's basic. It's good. So I so you pick from a couple of different things. You know hairstyle, eye color, and then you go from there. So you can change that later on. So then we start into our like tutorial on how to play the game. So this tutorial, to my, from what I experienced, this was a good tutorial. It teaches you the basic of Splatoon. And for those who have never played a Splatoon, this is good to know. The one thing it does start you with though is the motion controls. Something I wasn't too keen on. You know, so you play through, uh, I am playing with the Pro Controller right now. I did try it with Pro Controller, and I did try it with just the regular uh, tablet mode, because that is how I play some of my game. So then we're getting, you know, you get through a tutorial, you get into Inkland City, or uh, I'm not sure what they're calling it, and they kind of give you a brief overview of everything. You know, this is where you come to pretty much everywhere to do either multiplayer, salmon run, uh, hero mode, or also you know to buy, get you know, your items, your different shops, which is you know interesting to me because you can get from here to there fairly quickly with this. And this is also where the amiibos is. You know, so starting out, you know, we're gonna look over uh, hero mode. So hero mode, you come here, you're talking to Marie. And Marie's sister has disappeared, who they were both from Splatoon 1. I'm not sure what kind of part they played in it, since I really wasn't, you know, I never played Splatoon before I played this one. You know, so starting out, she tells you, here's a hero suit, you know, here's a hero blaster. I think it does have a different name. Uh, and you're Agent 4. So, you know, so starting out, you get into kind of this basic almost like another tutorial on how to play the game so you're covering area with ink you're going through there are enemies you know that can kill you uh or make you respawn or whatever you want to call it for this uh so i thought this was a nice way of kind of getting you into the game and playing splatoon uh there are collectibles to get to which i am always a big fan of so there are two collectibles in each area so far that i've experienced uh, one's like a catalog note and the other one's this weird fish uh, You know so getting through you know if you look up in the top right that's where you see where you find the Collectibles they're in there. You can come back through and replay each level uh, I was pretty happy with this uh, It was pretty challenging too. you know most parts I was getting it But there was a couple parts where I was stumped for a little bit and I was was actually kind of surprised at how difficult it was at a couple times. Uh, maybe it's because I've never played a Splatoon before, uh, but I'm pretty sure the first one did not have any story mode at all. You know, so again, you're going through, you're covering the area, and, you're, you're, and then you're picking up items too. So you can see here, my character does have armor on. You know, so armor is an item you can pick up that just gives you an extra buffer of health just in case you get into some sticky situations or some inky situations, if you would. You know, the other thing you pick up here soon uh, is you're also picking up salmon eggs. And sometimes you find like a can of fish, which gives you a bunch of salmon eggs. I think about 10 or so. Uh, and then you discover uh, the special items. So the special items or the like your secondary moves is kind of like a move that you charge up and you get to. Uh, which you do use a multiplayer but this is like the first time they let you go ahead and see what it is so we do have the tentacle or the ten of missiles here which is cool because it locks on to a bunch of players uh, in multiplayer you can lock on all four and then it just kind of sends missiles to where those people are uh, kind of like a little beacon type deal uh, it's not an insta kill at all but it is pretty effective so I was pretty happy they got you to experience that you know so finally we get to the zap fish we get it complete move on you know so here we're seeing turf war turf war is making a comeback uh i shouldn't say making a comeback but it was a huge part of splatoon and you know the test fire and then the splat fest you know you were just doing turf wars and stuff like that so you start off you know i think you're level zero or level one and you're working your way up level one i'm sorry about that 
So you're working your way up, going through. Uh, Turf War, in my eyes, is a simple, fun multiplayer. It's simply the fact that anyone can pick it up and play, and you don't have to be like a genius to play this at all. You know, so you go through, you know, Turf War is pretty much explanatory. You're covering all area you can with your color. And your goal is to, you know, make sure there's no other color, the other team's color at all. You can also be killing them while you're doing this. Uh, so, which I thought was fun because there's different play styles, stuff like that. You know, you got these two cats that pop up. The good guys, the bad guys. This percentage was more accurate than I really thought, which I just came down to like a .8 win-loss here and there. Uh, so then you can see how you did, how much points you got, how many inklings you splattered, how many specials you used, uh, and it shows you a breakdown of how many points you're getting. Yeah. So the next thing we move on to is the Salmon Run. Uh, this was really fun, really interesting mode. You know, so starting out, you come in, you do a tutorial on what you're supposed to be doing in the Salmon One, which is like a horde mode. Uh, horde mode was probably one of my favorite modes in games from like Gears of War, and I feel what the last one was that had a good horde mode in it. So I was really happy to see that this game was incorporating a horde mode. Uh, which is a multiplayer type. Either you with friends or with other people can play this. Uh, it is not available though. If you're not, you know, if you have no internet connection, you can't play with people online, but there is local play from this. Uh, so I thought that was really interesting and fun. You know, so you go through, you're doing your tutorial, it's explaining to you, you boss salmon pop up, you have to kill the boss salmon, get the golden salmon eggs and go turn them in uh, there's a countdown for each wave you have a quota of how many salmon uh, eggs you have to get and you know you just go through pick them up go from there it does do a second tutorial though that is about the boss salmon uh, I don't show that here I thought that was really not so necessarily but it does show you how to deal with each individual seven type of boss uh, salmon that you have to fight to get the eggs uh, in the actual gameplay you do go through I believe it's f three waves if you complete all three waves you're done so that's my breakdown of Splatoon 2 is it worth buying yes a hundred percent if you have a switch you need this game